ladies and gentlemen, I am ready to mine once again here in Below the Stone. If you missed the last episode where we kind of kicked everything off, uh, I'd recommend you go you go check that one out before uh, watching this one. I'll have a link in the description to our playlist. We kind of set up how our build is going to be for, for this run uh, at the end of the last episode, but we now have a crossbow, um, which is good. I got I got 15 bolts that I can uh, shoot, and I'm assuming, yeah, it, it works just like that. Uh, and I, I can't pick up the arrows. <laughs> and now there's a sound playing in the background. Um, we'll just ignore it, okay? We'll just ignore it. Let's grab some quests. So, um, pretty straightforward, if I'm honest with you. I, I think we're probably just going to go with the, the basics here. Uh, as those are, are pretty easy. And then I'm gonna head in. Um, we're still, I mean, look, we're still in the early game. Trying to figure out, uh, what's going on, right? There's a lot of exploration that we still kind of have to do. Um, and I want to talk to this guy regularly. Here's something you can know. You can bring a light source to place or carry. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, that... <laughs> Kind of knew that one, my guy. Um, torches do exist, but it's good, still good to know nonetheless. So we do have an upgraded pickaxe this time around, which is going to make uh, the, the whole digging and mining thing uh, a little bit easier this time around. Uh, I'm also looking, I mean, I'm looking at the map right now, and theoretically that starting area was completely walled off <laughs> so i thought i was going off the you know different direction here but the reality is this was probably pseudo the correct way to go anyway it's it's difficult to say correct way to go in this game since it's kind of a randomly generated open game right so feel good about it we'll, we'll word it like that get out of here you little you little cave potato. I almost called you a space potato. That would that would probably be a, a completely different person than a, than a cave potato. We're we're good here. I mean, look, we're we're going to. I, I think the important thing to note in this game is to not get overwhelmed by the idea of greeting it up. Okay, um, it is really easy to get greed happy in this game, and and try to go for that like just one more resource kind of play uh and i would like to just not do it <laughs> okay we're, we're going to instead make sure that we escape with what we need um accomplishing as many quests as we can but not getting too bent out of shape if uh if we don't right we're obviously going to try to find bats. It seems that where there are bats, there are slimes. Um, the, the cave carrots or cave potatoes, they, they tend to be pretty close to the beginning. And then as you dig around, you, you, find, you find bats. And where there's bats, slimes quickly follow. So um, really, I think this is going to be a, a very quick journey unless we find ourselves a, a dungeon, which I would not be upset about. Um, can't can't mine that yet i think we're gonna have to we're, we're gonna have to find like is that iron ore that i just picked up or is that tin because if that's iron i need to hit all those no that was tin man so so these give tin ore which frankly just is is so not worth it in in my opinion our, our pick is so much faster than in the last one man the the tin pick it may not be perfect for mining everything possible but it is light years better uh than than the default pick let's heal i know that a lot of you a lot of you told me i was rage baiting in in the last episode by just like actively playing horribly and convincing you to buy the game you know what i i'll take that <laughs> i know that the, you you may think that that's uh, an insult um if i can convince you to to buy a a great game then uh easy money i i feel I feel good about that. I'm gonna die, man. Okay, please. You know what? Pop pop the ham. That actually did not do that much health increase. So keep popping the mushrooms instead. Uh, I did not bring the beer. We, we have beer somewhere, too. Um, back, back at home base. Hello, Mr. Bat. I see you loud and clear. Okay. We, we gotta get more mushrooms already here. Hello. Oh, frick you. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad. Okay, keep it going. Keep it going. You almost got your, your glow shroom already. Glow, glow weed. Dude, these guys are, they're annoying as all hell. You, you gotta, you gotta take your, your damn sweet old time with them. I also, a lot of you, um, uh, not a lot of you, but, but some of you commented and, and said that, you know, Tyler, it just doesn't look like there's that much content in this game. I mean, look, we played a 45 minute episode in the last one and did not see nearly anything in the game. Um, there's actually 25 unique biomes in the game right now. Uh, and I'm sure that they're, they're going to, the quests are going to get more complicated. There's people to find in the dungeon as well. Uh, so there, there's actually quite a bit to see, but it's also important to note that the game is actually just in early access. Um, it's been in development for five years, so a lot has happened with the game. Um, and there's more that's coming. I think their intention is to have 50 biomes by, by the 1.0 release. So, quite a lot, uh, of, of stuff to see in the game. We're just in the infancy. It's, it's gonna take us some time to, to see everything that needs to be seen. So, a little, little bit of patience is all that I'll, uh, all that I'll say. And maybe the game ain't for you, but... The idea of a uh, procedurally generated Stardew Valley mining roguelike Escape from Tarkov shooter with Minecraft and Terraria elements is is high on my list. <laughs> is is high on my list. Okay, a couple fossils. Haven't really figured out what the fossils are for yet. Um, like I, I don't even think I've seen a crafting recipe using them. But things to think about. Things to think about and find. It's absolutely crazy, man. I, this is actually, and here's another thing I love about this game, as as series potential on my channel. Um, it's kind of just chill, right? You know, I, I can kind of just talk about life and, and chat about random things while we kind of delve deep into the mines and, and try to try to complete our, our quests and, and do some things. Dude, I still think my pickaxe is a better weapon than the sword. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna keep using the pickaxe. The the swinging quicker is it's a game changer. I definitely want to upgrade my 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 sword after this one uh, and try to get a, a slightly slightly better sword going. But I love the idea of being able to just chat about about anything during this game. Um, November has been just an absolutely wonky month for games. Um, I, I can't even stress how, like, mildly overwhelmed I am, for one, uh, with this month. A, a lot of you, if you're new to the channel, either via this game or via tarot cards, um, there's even more crazy content <laughs> that we're posting. Uh, Cobalt Core, Karma Zoo... Uh, Rogue Glitch Ultra had its 1.0 release that has new, uh, tons of new content in it. It's just, it's an insanely, insanely strong month for games. Um, easily the strongest month for roguelike and indie games in, uh, in 2023. So, if you're somebody that enjoys roguelike and indie games, um, would probably highly recommend, hey, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Because I'm going to be posting a bunch of them over time. And that should make for uh, a very good time. And we're coming into the best time of year for my channel too. Uh, we do a, a large month-long charity event during the month of December called Aleximus. Um, and we basically bring back some of the, the most popular series on the channel throughout the year. Do some more videos of them. Uh, do a bunch of streams where, where we raise money for charity. We, we always support a... A charity called Extra Life, um, which is essentially a... We'll, we'll move you into here so we have our... our. You know what? Pop pop your, your regen potion. Yeah, that's, that's pretty decent, honestly. No reason not to pop it, right? Uh, but Extra Life is an awesome charity. They're, they're a non-profit organization that uh, supports local children's Miracle Network hospitals here in the U.S. Um, and... Uh, it's something that's just near and dear to me. Wow, we got we got skeletons in here, huh? Something near and dear to me, and and we've been kind of working with them for 
a good four or five years now uh, raising money for charity during the month of December. Um, and we've raised over like $15,000 for, for charity over the, the past five years. And it's just, it's, it's heartwarming every year to, to see the, the outpouring of support uh, for such a great cause. And, and I'm, I'm super excited as we get here towards the end of November to, to get back to doing that again. Basically, all of my, my profits on my streams go towards the charity during the month of uh, December. So it's not, you don't even really have to do anything. Um, it's just, it's just uh, show up and enjoy some, some good streams. There, there's still something odd about that, that little dude that I, I haven't been able to figure out. He, he's got some, some wonky, wonky something. That, that at some point we'll figure out. Get killed, please. Okay, there's our bats, and, and it's looking like we may get our slimes here shortly as well. We, we could probably, the, the reality is I could probably call the escape pod and then get the the slimes, but we just got it now. Um, I think that we should just leave, okay? We're, we're in a pretty good state right now. Um, nothing too wild going on. There's, we got a good amount of resources and ore. I, I'm gonna at least check through this wall, see if there's anything just kinda vibing over here. A little bit of tin. I'm never gonna complain about more tin. Just so that we uh, continue to build our, our resources. I do I do wanna pop down one of these TNT though. Let, let's just throw one there. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, okay. That was a little excessive, I'd argue. Okay, chill, brother. Chill. Okay, that that blew up. I mean, it blew up a chunk. It, it didn't do anything too crazy, in my opinion. The animation was wild. But it, it did not go... It, 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 the animation was way harder than the, than the actual explosion ended up being. I do wonder if maybe we could use that to, to snag some of the rare ore, though. I think that that's probably a good idea. Let, let's just sneak around here. I'm, I'm gonna call it soon, okay? I know, this is this is the greed we talked about. But see, we got some copper out of it, and that way, that way we got a little bit more, a little bit more resources than what we had before. We're getting a good amount of coal, which coal is really, I mean, it's, it's the, the creme de la creme in this game. You need so much coal in order to process all of the ore. So, like, what is this? Oh, that's a cave-in, brother. Okay. Get out. <laughs> it's a little, little spicy. Okay, little spicy. Kind of forgot that's what the cave-ins looked like. But now, I mean, look at the, look at the resources. So many. Feeling good. A little, little bit of, little bit of copper. We love that for me. We love that. Okay, um, I think I think we, we go out of this area. I'm just going to take a, a small gander up here. The problem with this game is there's there's like no dead ends anywhere. It's just consistently your file frick me. <laughs> consistently you're you're finding new areas to explore and be in. So it's it's difficult for somebody like me that is a, a greed master extraordinaire. It's difficult for me to, to give up on, on mining and go home when I could just get, like, one more, one more resource. Okay, let's, let's check out this chest. I don't think this is actually a full dungeon. I think it's, it's just... That's a mimic, dude. That chest opened its mouth. No, it, it's a mimic, dude. I, I know better. I know better. Get fricked. I... Oh, what the hell? I'm gonna die, man? Because the mimic is, is crazy? Thank God I have a crossbow. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Um, we got a key? We got a key, but I don't know... I don't know where the key goes. Okay, that was... That was terrifying. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta find some movement speed buffs or something if uh, enemies are gonna start hitting me like that. Holy, hello, Mr. Bat. There, there's, a, there's the enemies are are out in full force over here, man. 
I should probably just stop and heal. That seems like an intelligent decision. Okay, Mr. Slime, please go away. And don't yell at me for using my pickaxe. I think it's just better, man. I think it's better. Oh, what is that? A spore wart. We also got the Viking resistance helmet, which is cool. Some gold ore as well. Frick me, that's great. Okay, um, unlock locked doors and chests. Hello, friend. Get away. I, where am I going to find a locked door, though? There, there has to be a locked door, like, somewhere nearby. I'm getting damn swarmed over here. Hey, please, chill. Chill out. Chill out, you little loser. You got any locked doors down here? I mean, I suppose I can carry the key out, and then, uh... They, they just keep going, man. There, there's no dead ends <laughs> in these caves. They, they just keep on going as deep as you can go. It makes it so hard to, to just say, nah, I'm out. But I should say, nah, I'm out. We can carry the key in with us um, and, and hope that we find somewhere to use it in the future. I suppose that that's the logical thing to do at this point. I really want some new loot though, man. Not not that I think my loot is bad, but I just, I feel like, uh, I feel like I gotta find, or maybe I gotta craft, right? Gotta, gotta craft some better loot. Hello, Mr. Bat. The bats are, they, they are just, they are just not a concern. <laughs> they, they are not a concern. I feel bad. They're, they're so useless. <laughs> they are so absolutely useless. Oh, I've already been here. What the heck? I've already been here killing bats. Okay, the map is, there's a lot to see on it, man. A lot, lot to see on the map. T take me, take me back up this way. I'm just going to do a quick scan of the top left over here. Just to see if there's anywhere that needs a key. But it, it sure is all hell ain't looking like it. So, I think that we will probably cut our losses and call the escape pod momentarily. He's said it a hundred times, and yet he won't call the escape pod. Let's, let's, let's just mine this tin, and then destroy these mushrooms, and, and these bats, and these, these carrots. Goodbye. Goodbye, my, my sweet friend. Okay. One, two, three. I'm going to destroy these mushrooms as well, just just to get one one final look. Look at all the mushrooms, man. A little little bit more tin. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Call the escape pod. I'm sending it. Caves are awakening. I am not worried. Okay, no fear. No no fear. It's it's easy. Okay, spiders. Why did it have to be spiders? They're not that bad, man. They're not that bad. Get destroyed. Couple, couple kobolds. Not too worried about the kobolds either. Okay. Nope, go away. Great work, gamers. Great work. Feeling good. Definitely could have called the thing and just dealt with the slimes uh, that, that showed up before finding all the slimes. But we ended up finding a, a treasure chest instead. You're all dead. Not too bad, dude. Not too bad. Take me out. That's a good run. That's a good run. And then we're going to get our, our three treasure chests. 191 gold as well. Um, return me to the kingdom. And we're going to get even more gold, right? From the from the bag right here. Uh, how much? 200 big ones. Two hams. Four hams. Okay, sure. And the, the creme de la creme. Like four copper. Really? <laughs> okay. A little, little disappointing if, if I do say so myself. Okay. I want a, I mean, the copper sword has a reach of 1.4, okay? This has a reach, that's what I own, dude, is a copper sword, frick me. All right, start me by, let's, let's craft our iron. Oh, what the hell, I got silver? Okay, well, craft me that as well. Craft me up, <laughs> it's a lot of tin. Okay, it's a lot of tin. And craft me all of my copper. The copper helmet has resistance three. 
The copper gloves have resistance two. Copper shoulders resistance three. So so copper is better than tin. That's good to know. Um, crossbow bolts. I'm just gonna tell you, grab as many as you can. Also, I'm noticing something. The stuff in my vault uh, counts towards crafting, which is an awesome quality of life feature. Somebody actually mentioned that uh, in the comments. I don't have wood on me, and I was definitely able to just make that, uh, which is, I mean, that's really good, right? That's really good. The Bone Shaman Helmet. Yo, that sounds sick. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Okay. Um, I think that we should probably make some, some copper stuff, right? Give me, give me some copper gloves. We'll put those on. And then, uh, I guess that that's, that's probably good here for right now. The copper pickaxe has mining strength of five. This has mining strength of four. Looks strong enough for iron. Okay, that's important then. But let's craft that. And then we'll, we'll call it there on, on him. Let's scoot that back out. We can always uh, go and, and try to inventory that button. I, I, who knows what my inventory is. Glow Potion Average. I mean, it might be positive for us to just make a couple of these. I don't know how we make flasks, though. Like, I, I'd really like to buy empty flasks. Can I... Do you have empty flasks? Yeah, you do. Can, can we buy... You only got six of them? That's fine. I'm, I'm gonna just buy you out on these. And then crossbow bolts, I mean, honestly, let's let's just crank you. I'm gonna spend a chunk of money here, but I, I really think that having more of those is a positive. Cruel fate being selected for mining duty. Blacksmith can craft you. Yeah, 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 that's easy. <laughs> so then we'll, we'll make a couple of these, right? It takes 25 of these? What the heck? And I don't have space. So, so let's go drop off some stuff. Um, hello, my friend. I am going to do the classic dump everything I own. Let's bring the key with us. Okay. Four of those. Guano we're, we're collecting. I don't really know why I want guano, but that's fine. Let's bring this health potion back. Uh, these bones... We, we have space for, dynamite we'll keep, fossils, I think maybe I, I sold before. I, I think I want to keep the mushroom caps in here. Um, boy, screw me, there's not a lot of space in here, huh? <laughs> not a lot of space. What is this, a lava fern? I don't know, what's what's the, I guess I'll bring some, some dwarven stout with me. And then these mining helmets, man, they're they're trash, right? We we should just we should just trash those. Same with the rusty pickaxe, just just trash. So put the fossil in there. I got my one torch with me that I just don't think is that valuable in, in all seriousness. And then uh, this helmet can go in the trash. This helmet can go in the trash. I still have a, a spore wart, which I think is is probably valuable in some way, so you can go in there. The rusty pickaxe can go in the trash. I'm gonna keep the key with me. Um, okay. I like it. I mean, I could just throw it on the ground, but that seems... I mean, that seems rude to litter inside of our, our happy little place. I'm gonna go again, man, because I'm a little freak, and I, I wanna go again. So, give me green slimes, bats, and six coal. I mean, this, this should be... <laughs> This should be simplistic, right? This should be simplistic. The more we do this, the more that we're just going to get stronger and stronger, and then the deeper we can go and, and try to find some more stuff. I'm gonna talk to this guy, though, all the time. Something to know, red mushrooms are delicious, have healing properties. Brother, you are a waste of space, okay? You're mining the same damn rock every time I come down here. Just a total waste of space. Okay, now that we have the copper uh, pickaxe, though, I can uh, I can start mining iron, which is which is good. That's kind of our our next step in the uh, iteration. Give me oh frick me, get out of here! <laughs> I saw it. Okay, I saw it. I got out of the way. It's all good. Just wanted an easier way to mine this coal. That's all. And and we got it. Do do not even worry. We we got it. We're already up there. There's our six coal completed. I could just get out right now if, if I wanted to. That'd be pretty lame, though. 
Especially because I feel like uh, a way that we're going to continue to advance is by... Uh, oh, stop it. Don't, don't be so rude. We're also... Our armor being so much better just makes it... Um, we're able to get some... some uh, take some more hits, which I think is a, a valuable thing too. I'm going to try to TNT that Amethyst and see if that... Yeah, that totally breaks it, so... Yeah, Amethyst, one of the more common shard types. Okay. Sure. We we take those. We absolutely take those. Very pleased to, to have it. Just just collect some glow shroomies. I do think that in the future you're gonna probably uh bring in glow shroom potions and, and just try to maintain like proper vision the entire time you're in here it's it's not difficult to do like I, I can pop these right now for 45 seconds of it's how the hell do i do this again I, why why am i dumb it's not that it's why do i never know how to eat like i i, I will just i i have to mouse i have to be on it I, I have to... There you go. You have to be on it and then pop it. For some reason, I, I wish that I could just, like, select it in my inventory. <laughs> my brain goes backwards whenever I think about how to do it. Okay. It's good. It's good. We're fine. Don't worry about my uh, inadequacies. It's rage baiting, remember? It's just rage baiting. Okay. Very good. Two more small slimes. Very good. That quest is done. And then we just need a couple bats, man. A couple bats. They're bound to be here soon. This is not mineable, huh? That must be silver, then? I really thought that was iron. Um, but apparently not. Apparently not. I do think that if you want to find new resources, you got to find a dungeon. Um, and I just have barely found one we had that one in the like very first run we did last episode um that is definitely a dungeon down there okay sure let's do it let's do it hello my friend that seems like real good down there but i'm not sure if i can break in uh easily so so give me Let's see if maybe there's a path around. There ain't no path around, my guy. There ain't no path around. Maybe there's a path around? Hold on. There there might be. Does, does this ramp uh, back down, or, or does this dead end? It, it connects back up there. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll go back down around then and just try to mine into it and, and see. I don't have a lot of faith that we're going to be able to, but we'll try. Let's pop you. Let's make sure we're, we're full health before we go in. There does appear to be, like, some light in here. And, yeah, it looks like maybe this wall right here we can slip in. Oh, my. What the hell? There's trees in here? The music has shifted? Things are getting interesting, okay? Starting to find some, some legit things around. Um... Break some of these vases. You can break these as well. I know that the chests are sitting there and you're just patiently waiting for me to open them. That's right. I'm going to keep you... I'm going to keep you waiting. Go away, cave carrots. That's a cave-in. We, we really would prefer that not happen. Two crossbow bolts. Okay. Oh, my frick, dude. This loot is horrible. The loot's horrible. Okay. Well, the tree's cool. Um, I can't do much with it, but it's cool. Let's pop the cave in just to open that area up. Maybe, maybe there's there's a path through there that's that's interesting. Um, there is actually some copper ore right here. Yeah, no no TNT on me, which is unfortunate. And and this appears to not really be anything uh, anything too crazy. I think this was just like a one-off little little dungeon experience that that wasn't actually uh, a, a dungeon in any way it was just just a chest <laughs> which is fine uh, and the music shifted in here too which is it's really cool and it sounds great i actually really love this game has really good music and sound design which i think just amplifies 
amplifies the experience playing it uh, a little further. So I can't break. I think this wall was getting broken by uh, by the cave-in. Let's go left. Bats tend to be in this uh, biome. And I'm, I'm really just looking for, for four bats. And then I'm out. Uh, no, no reason to really stick around. If you can get your, your resources and, and leave. I, I think uh, ideal scenario. Give me some more tin. Realistically, finding iron as well would be valuable, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to continue to to bring out resources, get as much as I can, and then and then worry about that in, in future runs. Just seems like the positive thing to do. Hello, Mr. Bat. Goodbye, Mr. Bat. Three more bats, please. Not asking for much, just, just three more bats. More fossils. I see a bat through here. Hello, friend. Goodbye. Skeletons? Okay. Not, nothing I can't handle, to be honest. Beautiful. That's where your, your crossbow uh, bolt comes in handy. The crossbow is honestly... It's, it's a... I don't want to jump the gun and say top tier weapon, but dude, might might just be a top tier weapon a little bit. It's decently solid. We're, we're kind of getting back out of where I want to be, though. Oh, never mind. I guess bats can spawn in here. <laughs> well, let's get, give it a, a little look-see-do around. That didn't use... Yeah, I still got my key. Um, don't, don't know where the keys go yet. And sometimes some of this large... Oh, hey, this is, like, definitely a dungeon. Okay. Well, now I'm going to, uh... Going to go through here. Hello. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Pop one of these so we can see. And then, uh, get this show on the road. It's, it's a big old cobalt dungeon. It's actually not that big of a dungeon, it seems. It's it's big enough, though. <laughs> it's big enough. Goodbye. Gray shot. Goodbye, bat. Open the chest. What do you got? That's a bunch of tin. I mean, tin, not really what I'm, I'm looking for, but I, I appreciate it nonetheless. Goodbye. Just gonna try to bust up this place. I mean, honestly, uh, I'll, I'll take empty flasks. That's, that's not a terrible, uh, terrible consolation prize. Goodbye, Mr. Slime. I'll frick you. Get shot. Get shot. I'm popping more glow shrooms. I'm just going to try to keep this place lit up the whole time. Um, so we can see at all times. 18 bolts left. We're doing fine. That's a big old axe, man. What the heck was that? Tin axe. Damage 5. Speed 1.9. So theoretically, you can swing this quicker than the sword. Yeah, okay. Because lower lower speed, I had this conversation. I, I was under the impression higher speed was better. Because it was like attacks per second, maybe. Um, but I think the, the lower your speed, the better. Because it's how long it takes to perform the attack. It's not very clear, so it, it can kind of go both ways. I, I read it one way. I think chat read it the other way. Um, that's okay. That's okay. What do you got? Some some flowers. Okay. Not really what I expected, but that's... That's fine and good. Hello, friend. Frick you. No, get out of here. I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm, I'm actually not playing very good at the current moment. How do I get into there because that's not viable let's pop some of these did i miss yeah i can just go down or i suppose in over here okay great shot great shot they do be coming okay they do be coming just just get get a couple the, the crossbow makes this it makes it light years easier get, get out of here pop one of these oh it's the mother load man Okay, what do you got? That was some more ore. It's not an amazing dungeon. Oh, there was a healing potion, more ore. Some torches, some wood. 
There is a blue cap there, I suppose. That's not too bad. More torches, more wood. Okay, um, kind of cleared this out. I, I don't see any reason to, to stick around. Let's, let's just get out, right? Let's just get out. Make like a peel movie and get out. Or, um, uh, if I found a dungeon that I don't like, make like a peel movie and nope. <laughs> okay, it's, it's a poor joke. Um, alright, heal. Heal, heal, heal. I suppose I should probably like pop some of these hams instead. And then, uh, call the escape pod. I'm, I'm ready. Still don't know about the axe, man. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> Hello. I'm here, don't worry. Okay, who's coming? I'm ready and prepared. Spider. Two, two hitting spiders. That's not too bad. Three hitting carrots. Four hitting carrots, actually. The benefit of the axe is it hits multiple people. Um, so, that's, that's good. But it's, it's clearly not an amazing weapon from just my experience using it at the current moment. I really want to just kill the Cobalt Man. He's the most annoying. Okay. I'm back to using my pickaxe, man. The, the faster swing is just... It's so much better. Get out of here. <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy. Alright, take me out. Another successful run. Good, uh... Dungeon hopping. Didn't find anything too crazy, but who knows? Maybe maybe we get some some halfway decent stuff back uh, back here. A little bit of 200 gold. Oh, what the heck are those, dude? Those seem kind of interesting. Disposable rock radar. Send and detect seismic waves and walls, which allow the user to discover hidden caverns. That seems kind of sick. To be honest with you. I love that. Okay. Very cool. Um, let's get some more dynamite. Right? Why not? I need a lot of linen cloth for that, though. I can only make one. Okay. Um, copper ingot then. Craft those. Uh, please craft those. I don't have space. That's a good point. Let, let's go... Since we have the money right now, let's buy another, uh... Another spot in the vault, please. And then let's start just dumping all of our stuff in here so that we maintain proper uh, proper crafting potential as, as we go through here. I love having two health potions, too. So copper ingot, craft me that. Then at that point, you probably... I mean, I guess you would upgrade to the next... Uh, next tier i don't have enough actually 10 helmets to resistance the viking helmet is is just better right it's just better so yeah i actually can't really upgrade much i i guess i could do the shoulders that gets me to resistance three okay sure that's fine upgrade those um i can just sell those shoulders then i suppose i shouldn't sell any or shouldn't uh trash anything i should be selling all of that that's my bad that's my bad Okay, things still looking good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, talk to the guy over here. We don't have a ton of money, but I can, I can potentially sell uh, some stuff. Copper gloves, I have. Empty flasks, still useful. Throwing axe, okay, interesting. <laughs> but let's try to sell these tin shoulders. Selling for four. The key sells for eighty. What the heck? Okay, dynamite sells for forty. Health potions don't sell for much. Ham don't sell for much. Okay. Um, I will sell just these tin shoulders. Get a little bit of gold out of it. What, your vibe down here? Please do not report me to the guards. Okay. Sure. That's fine. And then you, I can brew some health potion averages. I can also brew some glow potions. I mean, I suppose I'll, I'll craft a glow potion. Two, two of them. We'll see how good those those are uh, in the next one. But for now, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed and you want to see more, please leave a like on the video. We'll be uploading every other day uh, for Below the Stone. So, you know, good, good chunk of episodes. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. But for now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.